So we're going to do a um, banana leaf grilled um, sea bream. Yeah, fantastic fish. And we do that with um, flavoured with um, some lovely aromats. Coriander, coconut, lemongrass and uh, ginger. Beautiful. And then we wrap, wrap it in the banana leaf. Yeah. And then uh, we serve it with a little tomato salad with some grilled onions as a dressing. And then Jersey potatoes there with um, chives and lemon. What's the first thing you do? Okay, first thing we do in here, we've got our little combination of um, coriander, yeah. shallots, uh, ginger, uh, and salt. Lovely. So the salt helps bring out yeah. the uh, water and the flavour. So into that, then we add a little bit of coconut water. So this is very coconut. sort of Asian, this, this part, isn't it? It's the, uh... Yeah, you know, what it does, it just gives a little twist. And yeah. it's, um, they're great flavours, but they don't overpower it. So what we do is just add all that in. A little bit of co more coconut milk, Tom. So do you have to um, get this out yourself, or can you buy it, or...? A little bit of oil in there, Tom. Um, well, you can just buy a coconut. You just buy the coconut. And this, is coconut literally the, this is just the water from in it before yeah, it's Yeah, just crack the coconut, keep the water, okay. and then put everything else together as a mush. So you put it in your pestle and mortar and just mash the whole thing. Okay, so it takes a couple of minutes. In there. Yeah, you can smell, just smell the flavour of that. Oh, that right, so put it on the side here. And then our bream, that just goes straight on there. Is and it we just fish bream or uh, No, it's a cheap fish. So it's it could have been underused, actually. Oh, yeah. I think I because the they see it as a whole fish, yeah. you know, on the bone, uh, everyone's a bit scared of it. But actually, it's one of the easiest fish to fill it. So we'll just get this puree. And just pass me the banana leaf, Tom, please. It could. So could you use any other fish? I mean, is bream perfect for it just because it's a nice, decent Bream's price? good because it's great value. You yeah. can use sea bass, again, probably, you know, More um, half the price again. Um, I'm just going to take the banana leaf, straight on the board. And this is, I mean, the banana leaf is used a lot in cooking, isn't it, in Asia? It's a perfect, so it doesn't burn too much. It's, you can, the fish can steam in there quite nicely. That's exactly what it does, Tom, because it burns, yeah. but you don't eat the leaf, of course. But what it does, it creates a pocket of steam, and that just um, helps the fish cook. And, uh, and also they serve it, don't they? Because they serve it in the banana leaf. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. So when I toured well. South America years ago, of course, a lot of the food just gets served in banana leaf. Really? And because it's just easy plate. Don't have the throw away. Is there anything else I could use? You know, what you can do is, I mean, the banana leaf's great because it looks dramatic. I do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, it, and it does cook really well. But actually, if you haven't got it, just use some tin foil. Okay, fine. You know, which isn't quite so glamorous. <laughs> it's a relief. <laughs> so, I need some string from you. Can you just That's pull me off right. the length right. of that string? Don't cut it. Just wrap it around the top part for me. Okay. Right, put that down. Just going to keep wrapping around. So just okay. put the string around to keep the banana leaf in place. What you want to do really is do this a couple of hours ahead. Okay. Put it in the fridge and just let those aromats flavour everything in the fish. Okay. And it just goes through the whole fish. So when you eat it, every bit of the fish tastes of the ginger, the coriander, coconut. Right. Beautiful. So that's just like that. Just open it up, Tom. So in here we've got yeah. the, the grill on sort of hot, is it? Yeah. So what we do is we do ten minutes each side on that, Tom. So